I've officially broken out the winter coat, you guys. This is, this is the real winter coat. It's the one that goes almost to my ankles. In the olden days, I used to set our schedule and I would say, okay, girls, let's go outside and ride. But now that the girls are bigger, well, mostly Sophie, now that she's bigger, she says, come on, mom, I'm going riding. So yeah, here we are at 4.33, but actually it feels like 5.33. We're going riding. Aren't you cold? Like I'm sad I don't have any gloves in my pocket. Girl, I'm wearing a thin sweater. So Sophie's gonna take Lady on the road today because she's working on relaxing and for Lady to like be relaxed and not be racing. So she's gonna go on the road. She likes to go on the road. Hopefully she forgot about you. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I actually don't like Sophie riding alone on the road, but I don't want to put my like, my hold ups onto her. I'm just taking a look there because there's some interesting goats at the fence line. Oh, so anyways, instead I just act confident and be like, yeah, she's fine. Where really inside I'm like, oh man, I'm not ready for this. I just, lady's good. I just don't like her going far and she likes to go far. She's like the daredevil of the family now. She is long gone. She's going for the long haul. What is happening over here? Gabby, do you see who's in heat? All right, the two babies are in heat. It's... Cake and sitting in the barn? No. <laughs> Gabby wants to get cake, rum cake and sit in the barn. Goats are a lot. You think horses are a lot? Goats are so much. I'm trying to determine who's in heat. I think it's just cricket for sure is in heat. And possibly, see there she is. She's going to the fence. Come and catch me big boy, she says. Ha ha, you can't catch me. <laughs> She's playing hard to get. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I've never seen them. This is the new mating game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that one in heat? She's supposed to come in here. Yep, she's in heat. Darn it, she didn't get bread. Oh man, I gotta put them together again. All right, so it looks like that's the only one so far that's not bread. Woo, woo. See, that's why I don't like them out together because that girl is so frisky. But she's in heat. That's the problem. And she doesn't want anybody by her man. And the boys are just standing there watching them like, oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Aw. Penny's like, why didn't you take me, Laura? That was rude, Laura. <laughs> and I figured out where Snickers poops. This is his pooping ground right here. This little area, which is so good because now I can come out here tomorrow and clean it up. But I'm not sure who's in heat. It's possible that Blossom's in heat. The white one for sure, Tilly is in heat. But the boy doesn't seem that excited about them. I tried to put Tilly with the boys and she was just wild. She's just wild. She's... This is the first time and since Gabby was a baby that the grass was green this whole season. Everybody on this farm is calling out now. The pig is calling out. The horses are calling out. Why are you even here when she's going to be an hour? Because I can't leave her. I need we could to be, be waiting in the barn with cake. Yeah. <laughs> with cake. A, a mom never leaves her child. I need to be here where okay, I last well, saw her. Down there with her like. If I hear a single sound, I'll be running fast as I can, you guys. Gabby's going to get hot chocolate, you guys. She couldn't wait. Molly's staying with me. No sign of her yet, and she's been gone a long time. It's just me and Molly. Just me and Molly waiting. Gabby and I are going to take a walk down the road so that we can check and make sure she's okay. Don't worry, guys. Gabby's got her hot chocolate. If you're worried, she's got her hot chocolate. 
and her and her bread. Penny and Storm have it all figured out. There's Storm on this end and Penny on the other end. Waiting for Ladybug to come back. Holy moly. She wasn't kidding. She went far, you guys. She's still not coming. And she's back. Walked pretty far. Here she comes. <laughs> I should have told her to be back before dark. I didn't think I had to. All right, if you want to know what happened on her trail ride that scares the heck out of me, you have to watch our short video coming out because she was talking about it while I was shooting on my phone. But yeah, apparently they went galloping. Were you galloping on the road? It was a dirt road. Yeah, these, this is a dirt road, you guys. She loved it though, you guys. She loved it. No, we weren't worried. We just were bored. Wink, wink. I'm bored because mom walks so slow. Do you see how slow she's walking? I have a sore ankle. Fun. I enjoyed that. Good, I'm glad. She, she, she did too. She was trying to trot the whole time. She rode on the opposite side. She was like, all right, when are we cantering? When are we going fast? Yeah, she because you have to teach her not to do that now. Okay, she hasn't been on that road before, first of all. We passed one car and one car only. Unfortunately, I don't know who's in heat, so we're going to do an experiment. The best. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Tell us who's in heat. Well, I guess he's gone. Oh, he thinks she's in heat. Like All right. For him for a reason. She's definitely not wanting to stand for him. He thinks she's for sure in heat. Go ahead, that morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I am. Uh, it is like 6:30, 6 7:30. It is almost 7:30, you guys, and I am still at it. I'm still trying to get this one zucchini graded. It's so much work. Just Sophia and I here today and I'm trying to make some zucchini bread. Realize I'm out of flour, so that's gonna have to wait. But I'm trying so hard to get this zucchini completely peeled. But my muscles are not that good. Every Christmas there's a toy that nobody can get. When Gabby was little, it was this it was this uh briar truck and trailer that she wanted for her horses and we could not get it it was like a few days before christmas and we still didn't have it and we had tried and tried and i don't even remember how we found it but sam found it at the last minute and we got it and we've never really had such bad luck that we haven't been able to get what we needed obviously my kids are not really into toys anymore so this year's toy that nobody can get is this is a miss rachel doll you guys if you guys don't know, Miss Rachel is like a huge YouTuber. She's got like, she she's like almost like Mr. Beast. Like her views, she gets like 128 million views on her videos because she makes videos for toddlers, babies and toddlers. So parents just put her channel on, repeat at their house. And she is a huge YouTuber. And she has this doll coming out and everybody's fighting over it. And I mean, fighting over it. People can't get it. As you see in this picture, it says temporarily, temporarily out of stock. And of course, my granddaughter, Lily, who is five months old, is in love with Miss Rachel. Like she literally does the actions to Miss Rachel. It's insane how much she loves Miss Rachel. So being the good Nana that I am, I said, I will get the doll. And I went on Amazon and it was out of stock, but I checked back again a couple days later and it allowed me to order it and it said that it's not in yet but that it'll come in. But where this story gets crazy, there are all these fake Miss Rachel dolls. There are fake Miss Rachel's dolls all over the place. So a lot of people, a lot of people that ordered Miss Rachel dolls on Amazon and are waiting for them are getting them and they are fake. They're fake and it's annoying. So today, my Miss Rachel doll is supposed to arrive and I'm gonna see if mine is fake or if it's real. Do you think mine's fake or real? Do you think I got lucky? No. You think it's fake? Yeah. Really? You have no faith in me? Why would I? Because I'm your mom and I always got you everything that you wanted for Christmas. I don't remember my childhood. I, I know nobody does. That's why I have a lot of videos to prove it to you. Grab this. It's hard. It's actually harder than you think. It's not, honestly. Look at your shirt now. Um, like you need a lot of muscle to do that thing. I have a lot of muscle. 
I just, you need a better theme. Stay tuned to see if my Miss Rachel doll that shows up sometime before 8 p.m. tonight is the real deal. I think it is. I'm a experienced Amazon shopper. I don't buy from third party sellers very often. I usually only buy from Amazon and the one that I bought was from the Miss Rachel store, but I mean, you never know for, for sure. I looked at the reviews and everyone said, it's real. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? But yeah. They could just make accounts. And Whoever that. thought we'd be in a time where they make fake toys so that people will buy them and they could profit off of somebody who's already profitable. It's not that difficult. All right, keep doing it then. Got the job, sister. Well, so you know, because I don't like the feel of this. I know, I don't like the feel of it either and my muscles are aching. No. My nails dug in. <laughs> I know, that happens to me too. Sometimes we're eating nail clippings. <laughs> Just I'm not eating it. Just it's joking. Uh, so comment below if you've ever bought something that you thought was going to be real, but it turned out to be fake, like concert ticket or anything really. Just comment below if you bought something and it turned out to be fake. And also tell me, do you think I got, do you think I got a real one or do you think I got the fake one? I don't think my daughter-in-law has faith in me, but we're going to see. My package arrived. It is 106. Wait, 1206. My, I don't know how to set my clock back, my watch back. So anyways, it's 1206. And my package arrived. What I didn't tell you guys earlier was that anytime like some kind of drama happens like this, Sam always has to get in on it. Like he always has to like get in on it. So he went to the to the Walmart page and he ordered two of these dolls from Walmart. So he ordered two dolls from Walmart. And then today he was telling me that they both cost $55. And my doll was $40 for itself. So I was like, how is that possible? So it sent him down that rabbit hole that was looking at the Walmart website. And did you guys know that when you buy something online at Walmart, it can come from anywhere. Third party sellers sell on Walmart, just like on Amazon, crazy. Anyway, so he has two dolls coming today. I have a feeling, I have a biggest feeling he got scammed. But right now, we're gonna find out if I got scammed. But I'm gonna call my daughter-in-law, FaceTime her, so she can open it with me. All right, are you guys ready? Here we, everybody's messaging me because nobody, everybody's like shocked if I get a real one because nobody is getting real ones. It's real, you guys. If it comes in the box, it's real. It's the real Miss Rachel doll. <laughs> I got a real one. My daughter-in-law, when I showed it to her, she said, I can't believe you got a real one. Nobody's getting real ones. And I said, yep, because I'm a Nana. Nanas always get the real ones. Okay, listen, this is what it does. Hi. Hello. You are so loved. You are so loved. It says like 20 phrases and it plays songs too. But I'm going to leave it all wrapped up. And I'll wrap it up for Christmas because that's what it's for. Now we just have to wait for Sam's to arrive. He's getting two dolls today. And I feel very, very certain that his are fake. So maybe I'm making too much of this Miss Rachel doll thing, but I feel like I won the lottery. Like my daughter-in-law's like, nobody got real ones. I can't believe you did. But anyway, I was looking out the window and the de mail delivery guy came, the mail guy and Ellie, Ellie, get off the road. They didn't come to the door though. They just put mail in the mailbox. It's supposed to be delivered by the mail guy. So let's see what happens if those are, if Sam's dolls are here. What the heck, man? Don't you understand? You don't go on the road. She's like, yeah, let's go. I've been here before. Okay, get ready. <gasps> you guys, I'd be more excited except for my, Ellie, get over here. My dog, who doesn't listen. All right, you guys. It's Sam's. It's Sam's. <laughs> There's no way it's real. The reveal of Sam's. Fake as heck. These were, this is what the fake one looks like. Comes in these packages. Doesn't have batteries in it, so you have to put batteries in it. But it's still cute, actually. But yep, he got two fake ones. He got scammed. Back to farm life. I don't know, I don't know whose coat I have. I think it's Gabby's, it's huge, it used to be Sam's. I think Gabby claimed it because she likes a really big coat on the farm to do chores in. And my, whoa, it's cool. I wear this big heavy sweater and it's in the wash. So Gabby wears everybody else's coats on the farm, so I guess I can too. Look it. Lady's like, come with me. 
anyway, it's about to rain. I wanted to show you guys what I did this morning. And I want to clean up the pig poop that I discovered yesterday. I actually discovered where the pig poops for the first time yesterday. I wasn't sure if my big girls were still in heat because they were supposed to come in the heat yesterday. If they were in heat, there was so much going on. I decided to throw the buck with the big girls. And I'm happy to say that nobody's in heat. The only one in heat is this little thing here. Oh, this little girl here, Cricket. She's the only one in heat. Not you. They're like, whoa, this is not your coat, Laura. That's Gabby's, I'm telling. Oh, it's raining. It's raining, so I'm gonna have to hurry here. But that's sad. Did you guys see that? He just walked over there and kissed his mama. He's probably like, why can't I be with my mama? Soon. One day I'm gonna let you be with your mama again. Don't worry. Anyway, I quite like the boy with the girls better. Don't you try and breed her. She's way too little for you. Because these goats, like the girl goats, are actually treated way better over here with Winston. He's a lot nicer to them. Don't pee on there. Are you peeing on there? What's happening? What, are you in heat? I better check. She just peed. Because that's what we do on the farm. We just pee anywhere we want. Don't you even think about it. Ellie, save yourself, man. Run, Ellie, run. <laughs> I don't know if he just likes her. Come on. <laughs> he really likes her. <laughs> Ellie, you're you're a bit you're a boy magnet. You're a boy magnet. It's actually so gorgeous out here. It's like dark and gray and kind of drizzly. But when you're busy, I would just pull a, a wheelbarrow up from the barn, like a muck bucket. And when you're out working hard, this feels glorious. I love it. I love this cold weather. As soon as I turned on the camera, they all started jumping, but they all sit here. When it's chore time, they just come and sit right in front of me. <laughs> and Molly doesn't let Ellie. In fact, Molly and Kirby are so similar they both growl at Ellie if she barks. And just like that, it's dark at four o'clock. <laughs> All right, it's five o'clock, but holy man, you guys, I can't believe how fast that happened. Like, turn the clocks back and poof, it's pitch black at chore time. Is she, is it a girl? Holy moly. Oh my gosh, open the door. Holy, it's gorgeous. Hey, that's for the chickens. You are gorgeous. You want to wheel this food down? I feel like we should. That's the chicken food right there, the top one. Let's, uh, let's figure out a way to make an actual bag that can be carried. Like, women don't carry bags like this, and it's women that have the animals. Yeah, they should put, like, handles in the Handles or something. Handles would hurt your hand. Not if they're good handles. Does your purse hurt your hand? I don't use purses. Not. Yeah, like it's just awkward. This is my pet peeve of animal life. I don't know why they make bags that you can't carry. Nighttime chores seem to take a lot longer now than ever before. So hopefully pretty soon that will even out and we'll be able to get it done faster. Tonight we had to bring down all the grain and dump it. And, and we do chickens at night, yeah. We used to do them in the morning, but now we're doing them at night and that is a big job because we have three pens. So it's like lugging a lot of water because there's no outdoor hose at this at this area. Isn't that crazy? Don't you know that you're beautiful?